Welcome to the Shot Stopper. The aim of this soccer drill is to develop your ability to stop incoming balls and improve your reaction times when goalkeeping. The drill is simple. Stand in the center of the goal and stop the ball with your hands. Catching the ball with both hands will give you the most points and add to your score multiplier. Deflecting the ball will give you half the points only. If you concede a goal, your multiplier will reset. So let's see you in action. The balls will be fired randomly from the ball emitters and will rebound towards you. There is no need to dive for the ball and remember to always stay in the blue circle. Great. Notice how the ball will change directions when hitting the rebounder. Make sure you pay attention to your surroundings. The ball can come from all directions. Okay, let's try it again at a higher speed. Position... That's it. You did great. There are different levels of difficulty with modifiers to challenge even the most accomplished goalkeeper. Good luck, player.
Welcome to field general training. I'll be your coach today. Throwing the ball effectively in American football is a fundamental skill. Although we can't recreate the grip and feel of a real life ball in virtual reality, we can work on power, accuracy, and vision on the field. Field general is a simple game of catch and throw. For each level, you will be awarded a bronze, silver, or gold shield, depending on your score. The modifier screen is where you can make each level more challenging, swap your throwing arm, and set your throw assist. More on that later. Your highest score for each level will make up your total score and dictate your place on the world leaderboards. Aim to get those gold shields to climb up the ranks. Okay, let's get started. Make sure you have your wrist straps attached. You don't want to send your controller into space. The small portal in front of you will eject balls for you to catch. When a ball is ejected, use your throwing hand to press and hold L2 or R2 to catch and hold the ball. To release the ball, let go of L2 or R2 at the highest point of your throwing motion. This will help you to reach those long distance targets. There is an optimum range of release that you can find with practice. You want to achieve a good trajectory to hit the center of the portal. When you score, the ball will be returned from the small portal. Let's try these first steps now. Great, well done. Ready to move on or try again? Now, let's look at throwing technique. Once you have the ball, square up with your chosen target, then take a step back and rotate your hips. Your feet should be shoulder width apart with your knees slightly bent. This will maintain your core and prevent you from leaning back when throwing. Now you need to build force and be on top of the ball. Bring the ball back in line with the top of your head and your elbow above your armpit. You need to maintain good rotation through your shoulder. As you start bringing the ball forward, use your other arm to twist your body and at the same time step forward. This will build momentum and power. Once the ball is released, it's important not to stop your arm movement. Continuing through the motion will help with your accuracy. Let's test this out now. Great, well done. Ready to move on or try again? Now let's try and achieve the perfect spiral. This is when the ball spins around its axis, giving it less drag through the air, and that looks synonymous with American football. In the real world, you would flick your wrist. You can do that same movement in VR but you also need to flick the left stick or right stick towards your body at the same time you release L2 or R2. If you time this right, you will be rewarded with the perfect spiral and extra bonus points when you score. Now let's practice on the field. Once you've caught the ball, Throw it quickly and Great, well done. Ready to move on or try again? 
Now you might have noticed that the ball is easier to throw further in VR than in the real world. This is down to throw assist, and we use this to make it easier and safer to throw with your controllers. The assist is set for you each level, but you can change this in the options panel. Lighter options require more power to throw, making it more realistic, and higher options make it easier to throw further. Okay, now let's look at your in-game stats. The further and faster you throw, the more points you will score. Your score multiplier is key to get high scores and to progress to higher levels. Keep scoring to get this up to 8. Each time you miss, it will be reset. Your release time is how long the ball has remained in your hand from catch to release. You need to pick your targets wisely, but don't hesitate too long. The ball will reset after 6 seconds. The bar below visualizes the ball reset and your sack time. If you catch and release the ball within 4 seconds when it's green, you will be rewarded with more points. In the real world, it's important to throw within this time. And that's it. You did great. Now you can apply these throwing techniques in field general and outside in the real world. Good luck, player. Welcome to the field general drill. This We can't replicate the exact hand pronation required for American football in VR. But we can develop similar... Flick your wrist and the left or right stick on the following level. Ready to go? Welcome to the field. We can't flick on the ready to go. Welcome to the field general drill. We can't flick your on the fall ready to go.
Welcome to pocket training. Quarterbacks typically pass the ball from the pocket, which is an area of space where they are protected from defenders by the offensive linemen. A fundamental skill as a quarterback is to be able to keep your eyes on what is happening downfield while also avoiding defenders that try and sack you. The great thing about VR is that we can get you to practice this exact scenario without the risk of getting sacked in real life. Okay, for this drill, a room scale with a good sized boundary is recommended. This will form your pocket and ensure no obstacles are nearby. Firstly, let's talk about how we want to stand in the pocket. You want to be side on with your non-throwing side pointing downfield. You need a slight bend in your knees and have your feet at least shoulder width apart for a good throwing base. Defenders will come at you from multiple directions and it is your job to see them in your peripheral vision and take one step to avoid them. When avoiding a defender, you want to take the smallest movement possible to avoid the sack. This will enable you to get the ball out as quickly as possible afterwards. To achieve this, typically take one step back and always move with your back foot first, making sure to keep your feet wide apart for a good throwing base. When a defender comes right at you, you can move either one step left or one step right depending on their angle. If they are angled to your right, you'll move left and vice versa. Great job. It always takes a little bit of getting used to, but if you practice enough, sometimes defenders will rush around the edge. You'll want to step forward or back in the pocket to avoid this depending on their angle. This is done with the same principle as moving left and right. Make sure you move your back foot first and keep your feet apart for a good throwing base. Let's try that now. Great job. With enough practice, you will eventually become... After you have dodged enough defenders, you will enter bullet mode. During bullet mode, you can spawn a football by pressing L2 or R2 on your throwing hand. The ball will be colored and you will need to throw it into the matching portal, just like in field general training. Make sure you keep your eyes downfield throughout the drill to find the portal quicker. Let's try it now. Blue. After you've thrown the ball, you'll need to return to the center of the pocket. This is indicated by a blue circle below you. Let's try it now. And that's it. You did great. Now you can... Press L2 or R2 to spawn a ball. Press L2 or R2 to spawn a ball. Welcome to the reaction wall. To excel in any sport, you will need good visual and cognitive skills. 
the reaction wall puts your reaction time, hand-eye coordination, and body movement to the test. The faster you can react and move around the wall, the higher your score and place on the world leaderboard will be. The more you train, the faster you will become. Let's start off with the micro wall. When you hit the first light, another will appear at random. Try and hit the next as quickly as possible, then repeat the process until time is up. When you're ready, put your hands as high as you can and then press L2 or R2. Great! Ready to move on or try again? The UI panel shows your in-game stats. For reaction times below 300 milliseconds, you will increase your score multiplier up to a maximum of 8. Your reaction time is displayed here and is visualized over time in the bar at the top. Try and keep in the green. Above and below you are light panels. When the top or bottom light modifiers are enabled, you must hit them as part of the sequence. They take a bit more effort, but they reward more points. Ready to go again? Click continue to go. Great! Ready to move on or try again? Okay, now let's take it to the next level. The reaction wall can be extended to 60 or 180 degrees. There is a visual aid in your headset to guide you to lights outside of your vision. Colored light modifiers can be enabled to make the wall more challenging. When the light is blue, hit it with your left hand. When it's red, hit it with your right hand. Let's test your metal in the 60 degree wall with colored lights enabled. Okay, let's look at your stats. The faster your reaction time, the more hits you will achieve, which will increase your score and world rank. Your Lastly, let's check out chase mode. In chase mode, the light will move on automatically at an increasing pace. See how many lights you can hit in the time limit. You did great! There are a few more modifiers and wall sizes left to explore at your leisure. And remember, the more you train, the faster the athlete you will become. Good luck, player. When you're ready, put your hands... Thank you.
When you're ready, put your hands as high as you can. Welcome to Hoops. The aim of Hoops is to develop your ability to identify passing lanes and improve your reaction times when playing basketball. The game is simple, and just like basketball itself, the aim is to place the ball through the hoop. The only difference is the hoops are fired at you to the beat of the music. Let's start off by setting your reach. Hold your controllers just in front of your chest and press L2 or R2. Great. Now, when you pull your hands apart, the ball will eventually drop. This is called your ball threshold, and as you level up, it will become smaller. You could hold a real basketball to get the perfect distance each time. If you drop the ball, press either L2 or R2 to reset it and position your hands as before. Now, let's start the music and fire some hoops. Hold the ball in line of each hoop so it passes through. The smaller the hoop, the more points are awarded, and the closer to the center of the hoop, the higher your accuracy. You did great. Now let's look at your in-game UI. This will show time remaining, your score, and in-game stats. Consecutive correct hoops will increase your score multiplier, and the more accurate your hoops, the more points you will score. Below this is your life bar. Correct hoops will increase it, but missed or incorrect hoops will drain your life. When the You've gotta be constantly searching for opportunity and plays in basketball. So let's add in some teammates. When a player appears on the court, Look for the same colored hoop and pass the ball through to score bonus points. But watch out, they will move and change color to keep you on your toes. You need to have fast feet. Great, now let's look at your stats. The arrows indicate if your stats have improved or not since your last session. Your move speed does not affect your score. And that's it. There are several tracks to play and different levels of difficulty with modifiers to challenge even the most accomplished athlete. Good luck, player.
Let's start off by setting your reach. Hold your controllers just in front of your chest and press L2 or R2. Let's start off by setting your reach. Hold your controllers just in front of your chest and press L2 or R2. 